This video is to show you how to use the mail merge tool to create progress reports so that you don't have to go through individually and handwrite each one. The first thing that I did was I used Excel to create a progress report document. It has um, seven columns in it. The first one is the teacher's salutation. The second col column is the teacher's last name. Then I have a third column which is for um, the student's first name. A fourth column is the student's last name. And then I have three columns with goals. And to even expedite this process, I usually go through and put an M at the top and use the Edit Fill Down button. And then I just go through and adjust any individual grades that are not at the needs level, meeting the standard. Then what I do is I go into Microsoft Word and I create my template document where I'm going to put in the student's first and last name, the teacher's, first, uh, teacher's salutation and last name, and the three goals that um, I was looking for this trimester. Then I'm going to go up to my Tools button and I'm going to choose the Mail Merge Manager and select my document type. I um, chose that I was making a form letter. Then I'm going to select my recipient list by clicking on Get List and open my data source that I created. And I put it on my desktop, so I'm going to go find it. And here it is. I'm going to open it and say that it's okay to use. Then I'm going to uh, select which of the grades because I created a different sheet for each grade. So right now I'm working on grade one. And now it's time to insert the placeholders. I'm going to drag the content over here that I want. I, now I notice I didn't put a space after the colon, so I'm going to make sure I put in a space. And then I'm going to drag in the student's first name, put in another space, the student's last name. Then I'm going to go over to the teacher side put in the salutation, press the space bar, put in the teacher's last name, and then scroll down in my document and drag in where I want goal one to show up, goal two, and goal three. Now I'm ready to start my merge. I'm not going to filter, I'm not going to preview, but I'm going to click this button right here that says merge to a new document. And you'll see what it has done now is it has added in the student's name, the teacher's name, and the grades. And this is one of several documents, as you can see by my scroll bar. This one was just a mock one I made in the front. After this, actual student documents would appear. And I would go ahead and print them. And then I'm done with the whole class. And it probably only takes about five minutes. So it saves a lot of time if you choose to do this option.